Namastê. In India, the fasting procedure it's usually seen as a very strong spiritual process. The penitence that uh, usually in the West was associated with uh, inflicting uh, some pain in the body or doing some pilgrimage. Uh, in the West, the only fasting that we have is between the time that Jesus was saying that it was not supposed to eat meat, it was supposed only to eat um, fish. This is that 40 day period, uh, the Quaresma. And uh, in the West, we are not very used to the idea of fasting. We say that fasting is just like you're dying. Oh, don't do this. <laughs> this is uh, for the miserable people and so. But in the West, not only in the East, not in, only in India, the uh, fasting procedure it's usually seen as a important spiritual practice and also a, a tool to manage your health. Here we are going to speak about the Ayurvedic view of fasting, not so much the spiritual point of view. Okay? For instance, in the Vaishnava uh, section of Hinduism, there is one traditional kind of fasting that it's done in the 11th day from the new moon and from the full moon that it's called the Kadash, the 11th day. There are other kind of fasting that uh, say that you can eat this kind of thing but you cannot eat that kind of thing. Uh, it varies about the cultures and uh, the times. In Ayurveda, the main point about fasting is to recover the digestive capacity. As we spoke in the previous video, when you are uh, getting sick, you, uh, is, you are completely advised to do some small fasting so your body can digest the metabolic toxins that was uh, accumulated there and you can feel again the sensation of being uh, with energy, light and uh, um, not so much lazy, sluggish um, but the point is that there are some kind of fasting in Ayurveda that's not the thing that you're going to do only when you're getting sick there are some fasting that are prescribed, that are orientated, even if you're healthy. Because for Ayurveda, the digestive system is a very complex um, system that it's working almost all the days, like three times, four times a day. For instance, um, the system that put out stools of your body usually works once in a day, twice in a day, if it's okay. Uh, your brain, when you're not studying, it's not uh, working hard. There are some times that your um, heart is a little bit resting when you're sleeping. All the systems need some kind of rest but because sometimes people eat too much in the night or because they don't get proper digestion of the things that are usually eaten during the day our digestion our digestive system doesn't rest even when we are um, sleeping I know that uh, for some people, including me. Uh, when we first listen about the idea of fasting, it can be just like very terrifying. But the point in Ayurveda is not to be hungry in the point that you're going to be feeling miserable about the life. <laughs> fasting in Ayurveda, it's mainly to increase the sensation of 
energy and lightness in our body. Fasting in Ayurveda usually does not imply incomplete fasting. Fasting in Ayurveda probably is going to be with fruits, with juices, or maybe with some soups. But the point is that it's going to be easy to digest and there's going to be a lot of spices. For instance, if you eat just like cauliflower uh, soup during the day and then in the morning you take just like uh, some apple that uh, it was cooked with spices and by the end of the day you take just like a uh, small tapioca with ghee. This can be considered in Ayurveda a kind of fasting. Again, in Ayurveda fasting does not imply that you are going to be completely out of food during that day. But you are going to be in a day that it should be a resting day, like the Sabbath concept or the Sunday concept. The idea that our body and our, our mind need some rest. There are some specific kind of people in Ayurveda that can do fast in the way that we are speaking once in a week. Another kind of people that it can be uh, twice in a month. And another kind of people that can be once in a month. This depends on how much the person easily uh, builds up uh, weight or lose up weight. This can be conjoined with another factors like the moon cycle and other aspects. But in Ayurveda, we are going to use this uh, kind of fasting always when we start to feel that our body is just like a little bit of tired of food. You can say, what do you mean by that? My body is never tired by food. My body is every day anxious about food. Okay. I understand you. <laughs> it took me a long time to understand this concept of uh, fasting in Ayurveda in an internal manner, not just like discussing as a brain uh, issue. But in Ayurveda, when you start to observe every meal, your digestive capacity, you're going to see that some days your agony is not hungry. It's a little bit strange, but some days this happens. And when this happens, we take on the ride of fasting. Because it's not going to be forced. It's not going to be obliged to you. It's going to be a very intelligent and wise thing. Because in that day, our body is just like slow, in the digestive process to reconstruct. One idea that might help you <laughs> to understand this is that if you use your car every day, every day, every day, every day, someday, for some time, probably you're going to get it to the mechanics to make some repairs or make some fine adjustments. Okay? So in Ayurveda you can understand fa fasting as these fine adjustments in our metabolic process. When this is going to be, you can make a schedule just like once in a month or whatever. But you can also go in this process of observing and understanding your metabolic pattern, what is the regular, and when it goes slow down from this level you say oh today it's a good time for uh, fasting it can be for like four hours up to the lunch and then in the lunch you take easy and then in the afternoon if you're not very hungry you just take easy and during the day you say oh today my body was fasting it was not you that just like put on the dot in the calendar and say this is going to be my fasting day but it, it can also work like that the main point here is to respect the idea that our digestive system from time to time needs a time to recollect itself, to rebuild it, to put some uh, internal cleansing. And we should not 
be very aggressive. Oh, I'm going to do a very strong uh, fasting today because yesterday I ate eight pizzas. It's not like that. That Ayurveda is going to help you, even if if you ate eight pizzas <laughs> in the uh, previous day. Probably you're not going to be willing to eat anything in the other day. But always remember that fasting in Ayurveda it can be a very important tool to manage your health, okay? And uh, in the beginning this can be a little confusing, but after some time that you're doing your daily Ayurvedic routine and you're paying attention to your metabolic process and you're doing your Ayurvedic counseling and all this stuff, you're going to see that it, this is not a so mysterious subject, all right? So, thanks for watching. If you want to share, comment, hit the like button and uh, say you want namaste by email for me at namaste.tiago.gmail.com uh, asking for more information about this Ayurvedic counseling, the namaste coaching. I'll be glad to send your email with this information. Okay? See you in the next video. Namaste. Mm -hmm.